George Burns and Jack Benny, two of the most popular radio and TV stars of their time. With careers spanning from the 1920s all the way through the 1970s, each was a legendary comedian in his own right. Now, George Burns had the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, and Jack Benny had the Jack Benny program. Both of them started out in the world of radio, but they soon catapulted into big, successful careers in TV. I definitely grew up watching both of them with my dad, and besides for the fact that they were both Jewish, the two comedians were lifelong friends. Such good friends, in fact, that when Jack Benny died, George Burns could not come to terms with his death for the rest of his life. So it's only fitting that in this segment of Famous Jews, we're going to be talking about the paternal ancestries of both Jack Benny and George Burns, neither of which was their birth name, because that's showbiz, baby. Famous for his cigars and also living to the age of 100, George Burns was born Nathan Birnbaum in 1896 in Manhattan, New York. And had he been born just a few years earlier, he would not have been born in the United States because many of his siblings immigrated from Eastern Europe. In the 1880s came over Hadassah aka Dora Bluth and his father, Lipa Birnbaum. According to the 1900 U.S. federal census, Dora had given birth to 13 children, 11 who were still alive at the time of the census. Lipa worked as a co-presser, and he sadly died just a few years later in 1903. His death certificate lists his parents as Nathan and Teresa, which are clearly anglicized versions of Jewish names. Nathan Birnbaum, aka George Burns, seems to have been named for his grandfather. Although I wasn't able to find a lot for Lipa and his ancestors, I was able to find a declaration of intention of one of his sons, his oldest son, Morris. And what it gives us is the name of the town the family came from. The Birnbaums hailed from the former Austrian Empire, a place called Ropczycy in modern-day Poland. Now, I know I'm mispronouncing that name, so if anybody knows how to pronounce that town's name, please comment in the comment section below. I searched all the online resources I could find, like JRI Poland and Gesher Galicia. I even went to Miriam Wiener's Roots to Roots Foundation, which is a fantastic source for figuring out what documents are located in what archives. And there just didn't seem to be anything online whatsoever for the town of Ropsitsi. So, unfortunately, I was not able to take the family any further back using publicly available documents. Now, for Jack Benny, on the other hand, there was a little bit more in way of European records. But before we get into that, I just have one favor to ask you, which is that you demolish the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post new episodes. So thank you so much for doing that, and let's begin. The comedian was born Benjamin Kubelski, 1894, in Chicago, Illinois, the eldest of two children of Mayor Kubelski and Naomi Sachs. Mayer was a saloon keeper turned retail clothing merchant, and he immigrated to America in the 1880s. He wanted his son to become a violinist, an instrument which later propelled his son into the vaudeville scene and eventually into the world of comedy, where he would use the violin as a prop more than an instrument but it still really helped him out. Even though I was not able to find any documents explicitly telling us where Mayer came from, he luckily did have a number of siblings who came to America, and it was from researching these siblings that I was able to break through and get to the next couple of generations. The gravestone of one of Mayer's brothers and one of his sisters both confirm that his father's name was Bear. It appears that the father had been married to a woman named Malka and that they had lived in Lithuania. And after doing some digging through Lithuanian records, a story began to unfold. In the town of Miroslovas, there was a man named Berek Kubelski, 
born around the 1810s or 1820s who was married to a woman named Gita. They had some children in the 1850s and 1860s whose names and ages match up with those of Mayer's siblings. The location of Miroslova seems pretty consistent across the Lithuanian records, and thanks to the fact that a lot of Jewish documents don't just show the name of the parents, but they also show the name of the grandparents, I was able to take this family line one generation further to Jack Benny's great-grandfather, Leib Kubelski, born sometime in the late 18th century. And for anyone who knows Jewish Ashkenazi genealogy, you know that getting to the 18th century on a family line is pretty darn good. So there you have it. That is the paternal ancestry of Jack Benny, a.k.a. Benjamin Kubelski, and George Burns, a.k.a. Nathan Birnbaum, two of the most famous TV personalities of their day. While not uncommon nowadays, back then it was par for the course to pick a very secular-sounding name if you were trying to get into the entertainment industry. So that's what Jack Benny and George Burns did, but their Ashkenazi Jewish heritage will remain forever. Before we go, make sure to follow me on social media. I've included links down below to both my Instagram and my Twitter, so make sure to follow me on that. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.